everyone. Today we will learn a few things about kites, put together a simple kite, and make one for you to fly at home. This first one is a small butterfly kite from a local store. It came with easy to follow instructions, information about wind speed, kite safety, and flying instructions. Let's begin by putting the frame together. This supports the body, also known as the sail. I'm placing the top and then the bottom spreaders into the connector. On the front side, I take what's called the bridle and pull it tight, and I'm going to connect it to the string. If the wind is light to medium strength, I'll connect the top loop, and if it's a strong wind, I'll connect the bottom loop. Last, I'm unraveling the tails. They help the kite fly steady so that it won't spin around too much. If there's a really strong wind, you can tie the tails together. When you're ready to fly your kite, check the wind speed and weather. You can do this through wind and weather apps. It's recommended that this kite fly with winds at a minimum of five miles per hour. Next, you wanna choose a safe location like an open field. Never fly your kite near power lines, a busy street, or during a thunderstorm. If you hear thunder or sea lightning, it's too dangerous. Be sure to look for more guidelines on the package. When you're ready to fly your kite, stand with your back against the wind, lift your kite up, and let it fly. The science behind kite flying involves four forces of flight. They are lift, weight, thrust, and drag. I found these books in our collection to help me learn about today's topic. If you want to learn more, be sure to check them out. I also use the NASA website, Pinterest, and kite flying websites. You can make your own simple kite. Look around the house with an adult for these supplies. You'll need an eight and a half by 11 size piece of paper, a ruler, string, stapler, pencil, tape, hole punch, cardboard, crayons, or markers. I'm gonna decorate the sail. I'm using crayons, but you can use markers or whatever you like to be creative and make your own design. I colored on both sides. To make a handle for my string, I cut a slit into a cardboard rectangle. I place the string into the slit of the cardboard. If you wanna make sure that it's secure, you can just wrap it around the cardboard or you can tie the string into a knot and then wrap this, as much string as you can around the cardboard. Use a pair of safe scissors or ask an adult to help you cut the string. Fold your paper in half, line up the edges, and make a crease at the bottom by pushing down the paper and sliding your finger along the edge. Place your ruler at the crease or the fold, then count off two and a half inches. Take a pencil and make a mark. I put a circle at the top of my mark so I knew that that was the first mark that I made. Next, I counted off three and a half inches and made another mark. At the top of this one, I drew a square so I could tell the difference between the two marks. Try out your engineering skills by making more than one kite and use different lengths and in inches just to see if it changes how your kite flies. Take the top left corner of your paper and fold it down to the circle mark. Do the same thing with the top back left corner. Make sure that the two sides are only lightly folded. You don't want to press down and make a crease. And then staple them together. The mark with a square is where you're going to make a hole to attach your string. First, you want to take some tape, place it over the mark with a square so it will secure the hole and not break through the paper. Fasten the tape on both sides. Use a hole punch to make a hole. Put your string through the hole and tie a knot. Make sure that it's secure so your kite doesn't fly away. Woohoo! 
look at it fly. Pull on the string and see what happens. Sometimes when the air currents change, it affects the way your kite flies. Try making a new kite design by adding streamers or ribbons to the back of your kite. See how it flies with those. I hope this video helped you want to learn more about flying kites. It can be a relaxing and fun hobby. I'm gonna go outside, enjoy this beautiful weather, and fly a kite. See you later.